I'm Alderman James Kampelman of the 46th Ward in the city of Chicago, and I'd like to talk about affordable housing. It's a hot topic issue, and it needs to be because we are experiencing an affordable housing crisis like we've not seen in many, many generations. In the city of Chicago alone, we are 120,000 units short of badly needed affordable housing. Now, I'd like to give an overlay of all the different types of affordable housing that exists in the city of Chicago. The first type is referred to as legally restricted affordable housing. And around 32% of all the affordable housing that exists in the city of Chicago falls under this type. Um, there, in this type, there are four different groups. Uh, one group of legally restricted affordable housing is housing purchased by someone using tax credits. And in return, they are required to provide some amount of affordable housing. Another group would be the not-for-profit sector like Sarah Circle or Heartland Alliance. And they provide housing to people who oftentimes struggle to, to find affordable housing. And um, it also is housing for people who meet the mission of their organization. They oftentimes get federal funding to assist them or state, and the city will also step in to help them as well. And then the next group would be CHA housing or Chicago Housing Authority. Uh, there's oftentimes a very long waiting list to get into this type of housing. And the fourth group of housing that exists under legally restricted affordable housing is HUD. And it either could be a HUD building or a housing choice voucher. Now, the next different type of housing is called naturally occurring affordable housing. And two thirds of all the affordable housing that exists in the city of Chicago falls under this type. Now, there are some great advantages to naturally occurring affordable housing. Number one, there are a lot fewer restrictions for someone to get a lease. But the other great thing about naturally occurring affordable housing is that it's so much uh, cheaper to provide it um, and to also rehab it. Oftentimes at one third the cost to build or rehab legally restricted affordable housing. And then the final type of affordable housing that exists in the city of Chicago is housing provided through the Affordable Requirements Ordinance. And around 2% of all the affordable housing that exists in the city falls under this category. And this happens when a developer is requesting an upzone of a residential building that will be 10 units or more. And under that situation, the developer is required to set aside 10% of the units as affordable. The owner can do that in two different ways. It can be on-site for people earning 60% uh, of the area median income, or it can be off-site for people who earn less than 30% of the area median income. And around one third of those individuals who receive a housing that's off-site have zero income. Now, City Council is reviewing the Affordable Requirements Ordinance and want to tweak it uh, to increase that percentage from 10% to higher, and that's still getting worked out. And they also want to broaden that income range rather than focusing solely on 60% to have it go less and to have it go more. Now, it's also important to look at all the different income levels of people who rent. And what we're finding in the city of Chicago is that the largest group of renters, 29%, earn less than 30% of the area median income. And of this group, 75% of them are experiencing extreme difficulty with paying their rent. That means any type of a financial crisis, sometimes no matter how small, can quickly send them down the path towards homelessness. So the, this crisis that we're experiencing in the lack of affordable housing is extraordinarily complex. And what we also know is there won't be one easy solution. It's going to involve many solutions, but most importantly, it's going to involve all of us working together. Thank you.